Hi guys, it's me, Debbie again, with a new tutorial to share. In this video I will show you how to make your own bottle cap charms to use on your projects. This is what I've used. Oh, and some stamps of course. I've used a butterfly, a branch and a swirl. So, first of all we're going to flatten out the bottle caps using a hammer. Here I'm flipping over the bottle caps and I'm hammering onto the side so they will bend over and flatten. This may take some time as you see, so you'll need to be patient. This is how they look like, nicely bent over and flattened out. To stamp the images I need to punch out some circles first. Here I'm using a 1 inch circle punch. Now I'm adhering them down with some repositionable adhesive on a scrap piece of paper. This will make it easier to stamp. I'm stamping the last circles with a swirl stamp and some black stays and ink. With some broken China Distress ink, I'm coloring the circle. To age the images a bit, I'm using some vintage photo distress ink. Look, these are some other ones I've made earlier today. To remove the inside of the caps, I will be heating them with my heat tool. I'm holding them with a pair of pliers to prevent my hands getting burnt. With a small scissor I'm scraping off the plastic. I also like to repeat this process with a paper towel to clean off better. You can see some of them clean off better than others, but that's just okay, as long as the inside is flat. Here I'm gluing the images to the inside of the bottle caps. I am using repositionable tape, but almost any other glue will do just fine too. and give them that nice framed like look, I'm pouring down some glossy accents onto it. If you have something similar or you want to use embossing powder, that will probably work too. With a pin and tapping the bottle cap, I'm removing the air bubbles that are left behind. I let them dry through the night, so I'm sure they can be handled without damaging them. Here are some examples of what I've made with them. I really hope you liked this tutorial, please leave a comment.